Courtyard Coliseum, knockout battle, battle one. It's all eyes on the challengers. From the dense fog of the Coliseum, the Pokemon appear. Welcome to Courtyard Coliseum. Let's have some good fun over here, shall we? Two Coliseums to go, both and led by a Coliseum a Master. This is where we will fight. The Coliseum only lit by the moon and the stars. And there's always a dense fog. And that does mess with your accuracy. And I'm not a fan of that, because the Nightshade and the Sledge have both missed already. It's not like it's three stages of accuracy loss. I don't remember the exact way it affects your accuracy, but it affects your accuracy, and I really don't like it, because that adds an element of luck that I feel shouldn't be in the Coliseum in the first place. So if you have a Pokemon with a weather move, like Rain Dance or Sunny Day, or you have, like, like say, an Obama Snow with Snow Warning that sets up a hail, that gets rid of the fog. Make use of it, because the fog just makes it a lot more unpredictable. Still can't pull off a move. Rock slide tumbles down. It's down and out. Slam dunk. Taken down by right, We've taken out the two low. things that are an electric type. Because on the team selection, I think they had Minan, Rotom, Luxio, and Raichu. Raichu. There's Raichu, so we'll see which of the two uh, electrics come out. I was about to say Dark Death, but Electric Death. That's why I chose Spinny, because it's quickly. useful against the electrics. And the thing is, moves that I use on myself, like Light Screen, they will actually work. They, Of course they lower my accuracy even more, because why not? Accuracy fell. Well, at least I'm going to set up some... Special defense, because that'll work. You, ominous wind missed. I'll take that, like, but at the same time, I don't want it to miss because it shouldn't miss, because I'm not holding bright powder. I didn't use sand attack or flash on them. The only thing that that should not work against is a Regigigas on one of my teams, because that's holding a bright powder. That's it. Actually, I should be using Magical Leaf, maybe, because it might be less, it might be slightly weaker than Sludge, and it doesn't get the boost from Poison Bar, but at least it hits. Double Team and Flash, they're actually making more use of that stupid fog. <laughs> of course, Dick misses. That's to be expected. Of course, Sludge misses. What's to be expected? Yeah, th this is why I don't like Courtyard Coliseum. As much. So this is going to be hell in the after game. I'm absolutely taking a weather Pokemon to the after game. Absolutely. All right, I'm switching you because, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> and I'm going to use Magical Leaf from this point onwards on Rotom. The blue corner calls. I guess I feel like Spinny is still the best against Raichu, and Rotom has had more, de like an extra, extra uh, evasion. Raise through Snow double team. Its and this way I know I can still hit it. It's a <laughs> Flash missed. And this is just the first of seven fights. This is actually seven. I looked it up this time. Uh, like Sunset Coliseum, which is four, which I didn't expect. I actually looked up this is the standard seven. Again. Shockwave is smart, because that hits everyone. I'm happy I have Magical Leaf and that Razor Leaf here. The move can't hit the opponent. And Bite hits. Let's go. Through the Fog, through Devil Team. Some big damage. Let's go Snubble! Slander. And you're gone. Let's go hit Raichu. Taken down by an intense blow! Harsh battle is taking place. The red
red corner stands with their backs against the wall. The rest is up to the last Pokemon. A beautiful attack! Snubble's been nice and accurate. Snubble. Such amazing power. Something tells me I'll be using Bulbasaur more. Slander. If I'm doubting myself what Pokemon to use, and I haven't yet selected Bulbasaur, and Bulbasaur isn't super weak against the opponent, like Ice, Flying, Fire, Psychic, I'm gonna select Bulbasaur just because Magic Game Belief. Set, which can hit through the Fog and potentially other Evasion or Accuracy corner. things that they use, like Xan Attack, Flash, and Double Team. Minimize. There's a few more probably. Steel types. Okay. Well, Magic Leaf isn't all that useful against that. Things that are useful are Charmander and Spinny, so those, are, those two are first. <laughs> Flower Power, sure, I'll still use it. Sudowoodo and Primpop are weak to Magic Leaf, so I'll take that one. Mm, and then Pikachu for Brick Brick? I can use Low Kick as well with Dozer. Pikachu, act Pikachu can actually hit through. Wait, doesn't Pikachu have Shockwave? Yeah, Pikachu has Shockwave! Another full fully accurate move, let's go Shockwave. And actually only one of them resists it, which is Magneton. So we have Magic Leaf and Shockwave on the team. Let's go. Char Char Spinny. I don't like Primplup. Orders. They're both weak to Primplup. Um, I'm gonna switch Char Char for Fire Power. Hope there's the water move from Primplup goes to Char Char slot. Spinny is going to use Dig because Magneton is four times weak to it. The blue corner suddenly calls their Pokemon back. Bulbasaur is sent out. The battle begins! Magnum. I've seen a lot of Magnemites and also Magna Zones in later ranks of Colosseums we've already done. Use Magnabum, which looks cool. I really like the animation for Magnabum. It fits well with what it is, Magnabum. The thing about it is that Magnabum is a physical move. The Magnemite line is much better at special attack, like Mirror Shot. Like Mirror Shot and not Magnabum. Magnabum's physical. Light screen first, magical leaf. No, let's just magical leaf and take it the primple. Or Nah, light screen, actually. Oh! It's good to know that water sport was used by the primple. Maybe that uh, that's a little bit why primple up's there, not only to Counter the ground and fire type used against the steel types, but also with water sport to weaken the fire moves that are likely to be used against the steel. So, fire currently isn't super effective. Its attack fell. With growl on its moveset as well, maybe Primplup's moveset is just meant to weaken the hits against the steels and have the steels do the main work. Is sent out. The blue corner has the lead when comparing the number of remaining Pokemon, but the battle has just begun. Baltoy burrowed its way underground. A fierce blow. It's a direct hit. Matang starts to attack, but the target Pokemon is underground. You can use Growl all you want. I'm gonna use special moves with uh, Bulbasaur. Well, both special move still really. Have a it's called magical leaf. Who's going to take the glory? Bam! Ooh, critical hit! I didn't think it would deal that much damage with a critical hit that it only deals double damage. It also ignores the growl attack drop. So double the damage it would have dealt without the growl. And then we hit the magical leaf on Prim Club. This is a good fight. Good fight for us. We're 
Wormadam, we can't hit Wormadam all that well. It resists my magical leaf very much. I will actually send out Char Char for that one. Um, you know what? Char Char and Pikachu. Let's go. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. If it was just, hey, we have to go for victory, then I may have just kept on attacking, especially with Bulbasaur. But considering a perfect points can be earned, then I feel pretty safe, especially now that it's a 2v1 fight. I'll do, I'll do this. Also, Baltoid would get his power back for Dig. Oh, look, Devil Team. More evasion things. Pretty sure Water Sport just stays up, but it's still super effective. And then Shockwave just hits. Pikachu starts to attack. A rigid shot. Bam! Get by Wormadam. That's a perfect point for us. And goes down. The battle has ended. It's a total victory for the blue corner. The little ones are doing well. I don't remember at all what the team of the Coliseum Masters like, though. And it's a Coliseum Master, so that just makes him slightly more... slightly stronger than the Coliseum Leader. Then again, like, you saw how the last Coliseum Leader, um, Dusty, in the Lucario costume in Sunset Coliseum, he had definitely had a good team compared to the Coliseum. And then the Magma Coliseum guy had, sure, he had, like, three fires, I think, like, Monferno, Tremeleon, something else. And then he had the Sand Slash with Earthquake. Yeah, I do expect multiple, like, middle stage Pokemon, like Graveler, like Golbat, like Wigglytuff, on, like, the Colosseum uh, Masters teams. Let's see, what do we want? It looks like Voltic is really useful with uh, Shockwave hitting four of them. The Graveler is really dangerous for that, so Flower Power. Although, there's four flying, so I don't really want that. I'll send in Pennington for it. But I do want Flower Power in the back. But then something else they can hit. Actually, not Pennington, maybe? We will send in Spinny. Because Spinny can hit Graveler with Dig, as long as Graveler gets an Earthquake or Magnitude. And then I can Rock Slide on the others. Especially on Butterfree, that'll be useful. I do have Pennington in the back for potential Graveler, and otherwise just some decent moves. Icy Wind can be helpful, lowering speed. And then Bulbasaur, because Magical Leaf. Maybe we should have used... Dozer. Hmm, already selected. Let's go. Ah, it's Staravia as the first goal. That one's easier to take out because we've super effective moves for it. For sure, we have Brick Break for Wiggly Tough, but with Shockwave, it's just stronger for Staravia. And Rock Slide. Also, Shockwave just hits it. The battle begins! Bam! A brilliant attack! Right from the that start. was fast. Goodbye, Staravia. It hits. It fell asleep. The old two is sent out. The blue corner already has, has a Pokemon sleeping. Everyone is concentrated on the trainer's next move. Psybeam would do more on Golbat. Rockslap would hit Wigglytuff a little bit as well. But I think I just want to focus on getting the one takeout. Although there is an accuracy drop already anyway. And I have Hearthstone. I'll plug out Rockslap. I should check what... Um... What the difference is between the physical and special attack ultimate. I'll do that after after this turn. Oh critical hit, yeah. That's substitute gun. Because both of them hit, Rock Slap was the right choice. The move fails. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we Better physical attack actually. Next? Not by much, but it's better. This way, with Rock Slide, as long as they keep hitting anyway, we do keep uh, damaging the weak Temple level, so that, that's easier to take out later. Once we start focusing on it, probably when Golbat's, Golbat's out and we decide not to hit 
whatever comes in and grab that slot when you need Brick Break. That one's unfortunate, but who says that Psybeam wouldn't have missed against Golbat? This way, we have two chances to hit a Pokemon. Flash, yeah, as long as it's on Pikachu, I'm fine with that, considering I have Shockwave. Yeah, Pikachu is fine. Flash and Double Team used so far by every team. They've been making use of the fact that Courtyard Coliseum is the fog. Oh, Static, let's go. Static ability, activate please. Like 30% chance? Yes! Paralyzed, sometimes can't attack, and also it's slower now. Double critical hit pulse oil, let's go! So that makes up for the miss on goal that last turn. We got that damage in now. Wow. Pikachu's still sleeping. It was a good lullaby from Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff cannot <laughs> flinch is all. Oh, Stonish wants to make me flinch. Sorry, I already made your friend flinch. The battle rages on. Which corner will make the attack that could change the situation? Pikachu woke up. I'm purposely using out a Wiggly Tough here because I could take them both out with Wolf Slide. And. Okay, that already takes out the Wiggly Tough. Works for me. It was weak enough thanks to the continuous Rock Slides. And otherwise, I thought Spinny will hopefully take them both out with Rock Slide after Wiggly Tough's been weakened with Tough Way. It couldn't take him. It's down. Butterfree is sent out. The red corner stands with their backs against the wall. The rest is up to the last Pokemon. A fierce blow! Such amazing power! That hurt! Four times super effective, let's go! Rock Slide! Rock slide and we have another down. perfect point. We have another perfect victory. I'll take that! It, it's a little annoying to the have to work around the fog, but so far, maybe because the opponents are more focused on their double teams and their flashes, and in like the second battle, the steel types case, weakening the things that work against the steel, that they're not really damaging me a lot, and I can make use of that. With purposeful targeting of one of them that's quicker to take out, taking the lead, and then going from there. Let's see what Battle Forest brings us. From the blue corner, Bulbasaur, Pikachu. And from the red corner, Primplup, Marstomp. Here they come. And now, the battle begins. The blue corner makes the first attack. A smashing blow. Slammed him. Taken out already. This is not a favorable matchup. Matang is sent out. Pikachu starts to attack. A rigid shot. Interesting observation here. Bul my Bulbasaur has a speed tie with my Piplup. 
Prudent Plup is supposed to be faster than a Piplup. But Bulbasaur, who is as fast as a Piplup, is faster than a Prudent Plup. Just shows that my Piplup is speed investment, I guess. And they probably don't. Wormadam is sent out. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? against the wall. Wormadam will be lucky to get through this crisis. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Charmander is sent out. It hit the substitute. second hit and goes down the battle has ended it's a total victory for the blue corner Both corners are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a great battle. And now the battle begins. The red corner makes the first. I have to take out my favorite oh, Pokemon. Collab is my favorite Pokemon. I'm definitely thinking of making another team like this, like the team that I have now, because I had a lot of fun with it, and it, it's a good challenge at this. At, um, Using these smaller Pokemon with some of the <clears throat> better moves than they would normally have in the main game. But not like the best moves like Flamethrower, like, I don't know, Surf, like Ice Beam. I think this is really fun to use and I know I probably want to use a Cyndaquil or something like that. And the next thing, Cyndaquil can get some really interesting moves. It can get extra sensory. It can get double kick. I think it can ne get nature powers, although I'm not sure if that's the case in Gen 4. But probably with Cyndaquil, get one or two starters maybe, and then some other Pokemon from different generations. Like at least one from every generation, that's the idea. 
going to have a lot of fun uh, with making more teams like this. And you'll probably see them featured in the future. But this is my main team for the main game. And I'll see what I'll do after. I'll probably do some of some of the after game stuff with this team. as I'll see how far I can get. But it's mostly going to be this team. At least for main game. the second hit and goes down. against the wall. The rest is up to the last Pokemon. Its attack missed! Big hit! It couldn't take it! It's down! The results are in! The blue corner pulled off an impressive victory. Both corners are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a great battle. The stage is set and the curtain is up. The red corner makes the first attack. It hits. A fierce blow. Such amazing power. Fierce blow! It's a direct hit! Rock Slide tumbles down, taken down by an intense attack! Wiggly Tuff is sent out! The Red Corner has already taken some serious damage. However, this battle is just getting started. I just noticed something, and I think it's a really interesting detail. Just on the left there, now look at the left of the screen. You see a stadium there on a hill. Well, you can't really see it's a stadium there, but you can see something up there that might look like the face of a march down. Because it does, it's been... That is actually the final Colosseum. And the outside is made to look like the face of a march down. Not saying the Colosseum has just themed around march down. That's not, a, not the case. But like... As you may have seen in the, in the first episode, in the intro, 
of this game, you'll see that a lot of the buildings in this place are based on a Pokemon. In Courtyard Coliseum, it's more like the, the back wall, which might be a hotel or something. I don't actually know. But that looks like, um... That looks like Bastiodon. There's a Ferris wheel based on Bronzer. Bronzer really has the shape of a Ferris wheel, I would say. And there's a lot more things that are made to look like Pokemon, whether the Pokemon happens to work with the shape of what they want to make, like Bronzer being a Ferris wheel, or not. And that final Colosseum that we're going to after we hopefully beat this Courtyard Colosseum is up there. And that's where the biggest battles will be taking place. Sent out. The battle has reached its final stage. That silver wind boost from Butterfree is not helping here. Looks that would have dealt a lot more damage and would have definitely been taken out, but luckily they haven't hit Pikachu since turn one. So Pikachu was able to do some big damage to Wiggy Cup with Endeavor and now take out Butterfree with Shockwave. I haven't had much trouble with the fog, luckily. I'm happy about that. A fierce blow. Critical hit with Fire Punch as well, nice job, Charmander. Knock off, that's not strong in this generation. I think it was Gen 5, not maybe 6. Sides. I think Gen 6 where that was Sableye changed to be a lot more powerful. Went from 20 par to 65 and became, an, became not, I wouldn't say a stable, but a pretty commonly used move on competitive team. And it was just a good coverage move for some of them as well. The, let's say a Conqueror. Well, Bishop was already dark and it had something like Night Slash, which was stronger than Knockoff, but Knockoff on something that could lose its item was double the power. Sure, for one turn, but it was double the power. And if there wasn't an item to Knockoff, it was only slightly stronger than Night Slash, so why not use it? British, that was the semi final, so, um, Galicia Master? Kruger. Coliseum Master Kruger. Gligar, Pupitar, Victory Bell, so fully about Gabite, Swalot, Hitmontop. Yep, looks like an interesting and good team. Pikachu can only hit three of them with Shockwave. And <laughs> one of those resists it. It's only Swallow and Hitmontop are actually normally affected by Shockwave. Spinny. Let Charter and Voltix hit this one out. Wait, let, listen to this music, because it's a Coliseum master, so he has his own music. Instead of just the standard Coliseum leader music, which is the special, but masters have individual music. From the dense fog of the Coliseum, the Pokemon appear. The battle begins! The blue corner makes the first attack! A rigid shot! Good damage. Nice job, Snubble. I know Snubble can deal a lot of damage, but still, generally, I expect it to do less damage. Ah, that's a Dragon Rush, that hurts. That's still only just over half of that was a Dragon Rush! And Gabite isn't exactly weak. Did I put defenses on Piplup? <laughs> I don't remember exactly how the, how the effort value spread was, but must be good, or they must have low physical attack. Goodbye, it's like the pre-evolution of Garchomp should have good stats. The red corner has already taken some serious damage. However, this battle is just getting started. Oh, 
Okay. They just took out their own Pokemon. With the animation already, okay. Avoided the attackers in the fog. Unfortunately, Piplum doesn't make it, but... They took out their own Pokemon. I'll, I'll take it. 3-2 lead for me. And I still get the headbutt. Would have preferred Piplup to get an attack off, but... Hey. Intimidate did weaken it. It was enough on Piplup. So, okay, so a fast Pokemon like Lagan with Earthquake. That is something we have to deal with. So... Spinny, because it has Levitate. Doesn't get hit by Earthquake. What are... I wanted to send a Bulbasaur, but Levitate seems really useful here. I think I'll attack Hitmontop next. Wait, Hitmontop didn't... I didn't see Intimidate. Does Hitmontop have a different ability than Intimidate? Glagar is weaker. I should attack Glagar. If they wanted to go after Hitmontop because Saiyan hits it super effectively. <coughs> yeah, Faint would be an interesting and fun um, priority move to use for you, but it's not going to work here. Oh, Dozer avoided the attack. It's only going to hit... Hitmontop! <laughs> Half damage on the Hitmontop! <laughs> yeah! Should've used Protect! <laughs> I'll just attack Gligar, because Gligar is attacking the Hitmontop! Thing is, if it would've attacked the Hitmontop, it would've probably been down this turn. Now it's a 3v1 fight, and I still have Bulbasaur in the back. Some big moves in Earthquake, but... Yeah, sorry, Kruger, that's not gonna work um, if you take out your own teammate. Or damage them a lot. Misses Triple Kick as well, and I hit the super effective side beam. There we go! That Coliseum Master Fight was a lot quicker than expected. Go team! Kruger's been defeated. The Coliseum Master of Courtyard Coliseum has been defeated. So only one main game Coliseum remains. And it's the most difficult one out of all of them. Gold and badge in battle pass are given as a reward for clearing Courtyard Coliseum for the first time. Stargazer Coliseum has just opened. Yes. <clears throat> Stargazer Coliseum is the name of the final Coliseum. And that is where we'll go next time. And I'll tell you this before then. Yes, it has the final Coliseum Master at the very end. Yes, there will be seven battles and we're used to that. Don't think that the six battles before it will be standard. It'll be really fun and interesting throughout the entire thing. Alright, see you in the next episode, everyone. Have a good day, and you are worth it.